Hi, good day everyone. It's me again, Miss Joyce, and welcome to another awesome episode of Sci Amazing. Because learning science is fun. Before we proceed with our next lesson, let us recall first our last lesson. What was our last lesson again? Yes, you are right. Last time, we discussed about the difference of pure substance and mixture based on its observable pace. Let's see if you really learned from our last lesson. Get a paper and a pen and try to answer the following. Okay, let's check your answers. You all did it well. Very good. Okay, let us now proceed with our next lesson. These are our objectives. 1. Describe types of mixtures based on their particle size. 2. Distinguish mixtures as a solution, a suspension, or a colloid. In your previous lesson, you have learned that mixtures are of two main classes, the homogeneous mixtures and the heterogeneous mixtures. But mixtures are further classified based on their particle size. These are solution, suspension, and color. So what is a solution? A solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. The particles of a solution are very tiny and distributed evenly. It has a uniform appearance and it has only one paste or layer. Examples are salt in water, sugar in water, carbonated drink, and vinegar. Solutions can be solid, liquid, or gas. Okay, how about a colloid? Colloids are mixtures made up of two components, the dispersed particles and the dispersion medium. The particles of colloids are bigger than the particles of a solution. Colloids exhibit Tyndall effect. This is a scattering of visible light due to the motion of the suspended dispersed particles. Examples are milk, paints, ice cream, and mayonnaise. Okay, let's have suspension. So what is a suspension? A suspension is an example of a coarse mixture defined as a heterogeneous mixture. The particles of a suspension are bigger than the particles of a solution and color. The particles of a suspension are visible to the naked eye. You can see two or more parts of a suspension. Examples are oil in water, sand and water, fruit salad, and mixed nuts. Alright, did you learn a lot from our lesson? Let's summarize again what we have learned from this lesson. Mixtures are further classified based on their particle size. We have the solution, colloid, and suspension. A solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. The particles of a solution are very tiny and distributed evenly. It has a uniform appearance, and it has only one base or layer. Colloids are mixtures made up of two components, the dispersed particles and the dispersion medium. The particles of colloids are bigger than the particles of a solution. Colloids exhibit Tyndall effect. A suspension is an example of a coarse mixture defined as a heterogeneous mixture. The 
particles of a suspension are bigger than the particles of a solution and colloid. The particles of a suspension are visible to the naked eye. You can see two or more parts of a suspension. Okay, let's check your understanding. Get a paper and a pen and try to answer the following. Examine mixtures and classify them as solution, colloid, or a suspension. Okay, let's check your answers. You all did it well. Very good. And that wraps up our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.